New Apocalyptic Shadow just came out. And ooh, okay. Aventurine and Fantilia. Oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be a pain, isn't it? When an enemy with steadfast safeguard is weakness broken, advances allies' actions to recover skill points, increases follow-up attack damage taken by all enemies by 25%, and increases ultimate damage taken by 15%. Gee, I really wonder who this is supposed to be for. Okay, well, they clearly want us to use Fei Xiao here, but uh, I don't have her. In fact, the gems from this Apocalyptic Shadow might actually get me Fei Xiao, because honestly, earlier, I decided to use some of my, uh, like, Stardust to do a temple, and now I believe I'm on, like, 74 pity right now, so I'm close to getting Fei Xiao, so yeah, I gotta do this for her. <laughs> House Advantage, what's this? When Alice has a few points in the summoner's points, the damage taken by the summons is greatly decreases. Ooh. Okay, so... Right, in Apocalyptic Shadow, the bosses change. Okay, it also has points competition. When the enemy's target points are higher than your team's, the enemy receive greatly reduced damage and gain toughness protection. When allies attack enemies with fewer points than themselves, the higher the allies points, the higher the damage taken by enemy targets. The max number of points is 100. Okay, so you, I guess you stack points throughout the entire battle, not just like only during the dice phase. Okay, and then what do you have, Fantilia? When a new Lotus is summoned, Boss Mirage will enter the Toughness Protection state, defeating any summons will dispel the Boss's Mirage uh, Toughness Protection and deal additional toughness reduction to the Boss Mirage. Okay, so kill the flowers, make Fantilia vulnerable. Got it. And then in Phase 1, when Boss Mirage changes form, the summons will restore 25% HP. Okay, so let's get it started then. <laughs> Again, going in this without face shell, so this might uh, supposed to be a problem. So ultimate and follow-up damage, okay. Okay, what are the buffs here, actually? Uh, when characters attack weakness broken enemies, all DLTs currently applied to the enemies will immediately deal... Okay, so it's a DLT buff. After defeating enemy targets, increase break damage, taken by all enemies by 5% up to a maximum of 5 stacks. Increase the crit damage of ultimate damage dealt by 30%, with an additional 30% against enemies that are weakness broken. Okay, so none of these really support follow-up attacks per se, so... Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, each side has its own separate buffs. I didn't realize. Turn of luck. Pop characters ignore 50% of the target's all res. Can also reduce the toughness of targets that do not have the corresponding weaknesses with the effect of being 50% of the original toughness from abilities. Okay. Increases ice damage. Okay, so Jing Liu might be in the, in the play here. When an ally breaks an enemy's weakness... Uh, advance their action forward by 50%. This can trigger a maximum one time per turn. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go do the follow-up one here then, because, you know, it's kind of encouraging me to do so. Then I guess maybe I should bring Akron down here then, and not like a, a follow-up team that I, saw, that I was originally doing. All right, after much consideration, I think this is the team I'm gonna be uh, bringing along for this fight. I'm not sure this will hold up for Chamber 4, but I'm just gonna hope I can at least pass this one at the very least. Let's hope so. Okay, well, time to see how differently this boss functions. Feeling lucky. Oh my god, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Fucking Aventurine's got a red ore over him. Jeez. Okay, well, let's begin. Let's go. Damn, already? Damn, the counterattacks are just going crazy already. Oh, oh, I see. I got it now. Okay, so I... The, the points are cumulative. So I just have to continually just smack the uh, the cubes non-stop. Got it. Oh, oh no, do, do I need to break the cubes in order to... Uh, break the dice, I mean, to get the thing? I might have to, actually. That's it. Okay, so you need to destroy the dice. Okay. Also, can I just say I love Aventurine's battle theme? Oh, this one's okay. Huh, for some reason, the toughness of this one is not broken. That's okay, kind of weird, but all right. Nice. Up, oh, over. DPS full steam ahead. Oh, okay, so now he's vulnerable. That I have uh, gotten more points to him. I see. Okay, this. It's a fun change in the boss battle, actually. I like this. Break him. Bring the damage. Oh yeah, what buff do we get again after breaking the enemy? Uh, recover skill points and advances our action. Or maybe I'll take it. Well, that's like gonna really be helpful here since I've Yun Lee's, but uh, I guess I'll try my best to do some damage here. Less carbs, explosion! 
Yeah, considering Yunli's based off the enemy, like, you know, acting first, this is not, not exactly working in my favor here. Maybe should have just included Dr. Ratio instead of Yunli. Oh, there we go. Base one cleared. Er, boom! Oh god, 99 points? Seriously? Okay. Oh shoot. Ah, I have my work cut out for me, do not I? Okay. Double? Ooh. Does it mean I double the ones I have already? Ooh, I'm kind of curious actually. Uh, oh, there's one to 75 as well. Oh. Okay, I get it. So, the higher the points, I guess the higher the amount of HP they have. That's gotta be it, right? Uh, eliminate the active dice as soon as possible to stop daring dice roller from... Okay. Uh... Okay, so I need to break them somehow. Or, you know, straight up kill them. Yeah, the 75 dice has a lot of HP. That's not good. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom. Uh, should I just get double already? You know what? Yeah, just stop one of the dice from acting up. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, can't stop these ones because they're not breakable, unfortunately. Unless. Okay, double the ones you already have. Ah. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, not that bad. Not too bad damage. All right, getting up there. Uh, these ones only have like eights and whatnot, but you want might as well. Eight. Oh, that one's twenty-five. Get it. Go, Robin. Nice. Oh, almost there. Oh yeah, just get the eight one. Yes! Full steam ahead, okay. Time to go all out. Come on, get me. You messed up. Holy shit, the damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, and all the dice are just mine. Oh my goodness. Oh, the dice also do damage to a Venturine too. Okay. Now I get the just behind this fight. All right, nice. That was fun. That was actually a nice change of pace from his original fight. Okay. Now we have to do Fantilia. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that red portal looks kind of... Ooh, kind of scared, not going to lie, but I can win this. Slice her booba in half. Okay, so she still has two phases and three actions. How? Don't flick me. Okay, so I need to break the the flowers first. At, at least that's what I'm assuming what I have to do. In the mood for another beating? Stand still. Nice, like a good my friends. Indulge yourself. Uh, you want? Yeah, let's just do that already. Oh, okay, no, she's not. Do we need to break both of them then? Oh, no, do I have to kill them? Maybe. Oh, no, so increase our break effect. There we go, I think. So you need to, I guess, kill at least one of them. Also, what's this, this stack on us? I, it probably was set in the rules, and I just forgot, but. Eh, whatever. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Akron Ultimate I again. Okay, not doing much. Uh oh. Damn, she can do that attack already? Oh, I guess she's already in phase two, that's why. Okay, now. Freaking five, uh, four flowers, I mean. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is certainly most meant for like AoE team comps. Because good lord, how am I supposed to destroy all these ones at once? <laughs> yeah, maybe this team won't work on Chamber 4. I I'm confident I can make it through Chamber 3 at the very least for this team. 
Ah, uh, really energy reduced. They can do that. Darn. <laughs> Another journey begins. Okay, break flower. Nice. I'm assuming they take more damage once they're broken. Yeah, it's a nice job reducing the energy from Acheron. <laughs> I always loved the Fantelia boss fight theme, so I'm glad we got to hear this again. You want actually, I shouldn't say Acheron's ultimate, I should just go all out of here. Oh yeah, this is certainly just meant for Acheron, right? Yep. Broken. Get him. Time to say bye. Boom. Dun 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 dun. I love the epic Chinese rap. It's so good. Free will. Still waters of oblivion. Relax. Destiny is up. I'll say bye to Brinkley. Yeah, considering how slowly she's dying, maybe uh, DOT is not the best team for this one. Actually, wait, I should have went for the DOT, um, like, buff. Not not the ultimate one. I'm stupid. Okay, I'll change a buff the next time around. Alright, Fantilia final. Let's go. Come on, summon your flowers. I weep for the <laughs> I'll just kill them immediately. Oh yeah, I can. Just break her instantly. Yep. There we go. Just make a vulnerable already. <laughs> Alright. Think we're doing well? Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Good times. Time to say bye. Just alt spam all the way. Alt spam till you win. <laughs> Yeah, I need to figure out what these buffs, are, like, above our head are giving us. Ah, oh, so close to being broken. Damn. That's fine. Get him now! Power! Oh shit, I didn't mean to do basic of Kafka. Whoops. Alright, but that's Chamber 3 done. Not, well, yeah, no 3 done, that's what's called. Nice, okay. I got like 200 more than the required score. Okay, now all that's left is Chamber 4 now. Let's hope we can pass that first try. Okay, what's different about this one? Preemptive advantage. The higher the summons, the higher their max HP. Oh, so they get more HP based off the enemy's points. Okay, so the I think that essentially means the dice are harder to kill. Okay, and what about Fantilia? Uh, Hollow Flower Blaze. In phase two, the, the summons max HP is increased to- Okay, so it's just the summons being more tanky. That, that's it. There's no actual, like, game-changing stuff or anything. It's just, oh, the summons are tankier, so you have more shit to deal with. Okay, but no, yeah, I'm gonna switch this over to DOT and see if it improves uh, my score here. Yeah, let's just stick with the same old team and see if uh, it does us any favors. Feeling lucky. All right, let's go again, Venturine. Boom! Oh goodness, okay, we're doing like barely any damage, I see. Well, let's hope that doesn't last too long. Okay, 49 points still. Dun -dun -dun. Boom. Nice, 27. I'm gonna guess luck is also a heavy factor in this, right? Like, I'm, I, I'm gonna assume that all the, uh... I'm gonna assume all the numbers here are randomized. It's not like the same for everybody. Uh, I don't think I can stop that one in time. And what I can do though is uh, just ignore your turn entirely, Venturine. Mm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage to like take that one down. You want? Know yeah, I think we'll just go for the dice that can be being broken. Oh, nice fifty. Sweet, okay, we got this. Uh, yeah, now we go for Venturine. And this just to be in case that, uh, that Robin dies or something. Oh, nice, 54? Uh, okay, that's fine. Robin was singing anyways. Doesn't matter, matter too much. Nice, broken. Bring the pain. 
Get him! Oh yeah, there's my damage. Get him, March! God, March is so good. 14% just in one attack just like that. Holy shit. Uh, can we get to phase two before... Actually, yeah, with Robin, we, we definitely can. Uh, I thought that would get it, get it down to uh, phase two. Um, you know what? I, I just want to go to phase two immediately, so I'll just have Robin act now. Yeah, bring on phase two immediately. All right, yep, 99 points again. Uh, I think I should put up a shield for this. I, my shield basically ran out a long time ago. God, uh, a lot of the dice cannot be weakness broken, so that's kind of sad. Um, I really want to go for the 75 one. You want know fuck it, I will. I think I need to take major risks here uh, in order to get it. Or I can maybe stack it up and do the double dice. Now, nah, you know I'm going to go for the 75 die. I think I kind of need it. Oh my god, we're doing- <laughs> March at 18 damage over follow-up there. 18. Goodness. Oh fuck, and we're all stunned. That's not good. You want- yeah, I, I think I'm- I think I'm way too slow at this point. I, I think I either need to restart or change my team here. Yeah, restart challenge. Ah, shoot. Yeah, he recovered. Yeah, I think maybe this team is a bit too slow. Like, Yuni really focuses on counter-attacking. And during when Aventry's son, he cannot attack back, so maybe Yunli is not what I should bring here. Pop attacks ignore effect res and reduce toughness. So that means I can bring in like Topaz and Dr. Ratio and whatnot, and uh, and they would just ignore the weaknesses of like the dice and whatnot. And Aventry himself, of course. So, hmm, that's something to consider. I think I'll retire Yunli and bring in like Dr. Ratio and whatnot, see if that performs any better. Let's give this another go. I think at the very least I want like like a 3,200 uh, at the minimum. Nice, getting that score already. Kind of funny that like <laughs> the IPC team is what's gonna be best uh, working against Aventurine here. Uh, I'd rather not go for Aventurine himself yet. I mean, I could, but I'll do Pilly squad damage. Just as a, just as an experiment, I want to see. I want to go after this, like, the, this die here, see if, like, how much HP it has. Uh, okay, barely, like, yeah, too much HP, honestly. I don't think we should go for that one. Just keep going for the lower one. No, no shame in that. There we go. Little 50. That's, like, a bit faster than Yun Lee's team. Now we can go for uh, Venturine. I was gonna save this for like when he was uh, broken, but eh, I need to break him first. So let's do this anyways. Really? 80% no follow up? Come on. Uh, you can tell this was made for Face Shao. Uh, sucks that I don't have her. God damn it, Jeppard. Watch out the room at 50 50. Okay, he should be broken now. There we go. Okay, get him. Sure, I'll play. The dice have been bust, or maybe I'll take it all. All in. Your answers? A test. Zero points. Knowledge, the measure of truth, and falsehood. Let the valuation be liquidation! Free. Okay, uh, doing somewhat decent damage right now. Although I can't tell this, if this is faster or slower than Yunli. Yeah, Nuffy's only doing like 1% of his HP. That's not exactly good. There we go. Now he should be... Uh, there we go. Alright, still 1500 action value. Uh, although I'm not sure if that's gonna keep up well. Right, we need to stop going after Venturine now. Uh, yeah, go for those ones. 
Okay, yeah, go for the 10 one and then go for the double one. <laughs> really? You want, yeah, let's just keep stacking before we do uh, the double one. I think that's our strategy. Watch your head. Oh, wait, the dice explodes and you can't use it anymore. Oh, that's what happens. I didn't realize. Well, I guess our journey to freaking 100 is going to take a lot longer now. Fifty, halfway there. Uh, oh wait, the thirty one's exposed. Get it? Market is Investing in victory means playing the long game. Uh. Nice. Okay, now we just need the twenty five one. Uh, don't sign anybody, please. Watch your head. Uh, ratios only, but that's fine. <laughs> oh come on, Numpy. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter what we lock onto here. Actually, actually, yeah, we need 75 more than anything else. Yes, there we go. And yeah, now we need to go. Yeah, this might be like at least slightly faster than the Yunli team, but you know, not by a large margin. Oh god damn it! And the one time I need Nuffy to lock onto a Venture, and he, it's he locks onto one of the dice instead. <laughs> Asking questions. Ah, shoot. It um, you want fine. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Come on, keep getting him. May song bring us victory. Resonate all together. Liquidation. Night. Stars echo. Uh, I'm just gonna put, just do the, so that uh, they're on zero action value. Because I can't really afford to waste any more of that. There we go, there's the damage I was expecting. Uh, oh my goodness. Only a thousand action value, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need Akron to hard carry for this to work out. Okay, well, I did it, although um, it was very, very slow. God damn, okay, I'm gonna need the other side to get 600. Uh, I'm not even sure that's possible, but uh, I guess I'll try. Dream four. Let's hope uh, fucking Fantilia goes a bit easier on me. Although ha the Lotus having more HP in phase two is uh, definitely gonna slow me down. Uh, I mean, it's Apocalyptic Shadow, it's just the same as MOC, it's a DPS check. Okay, yep, the dice are not as easy to break. Not dice of freaking flowers. like a good my friends. Indulge yourselves! Good times. Never let time to say bye. Boom. Ow. Another journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. Nice. Ephemeral. Life finds Oh, she just summons more flowers immediately. Okay. Lies an endless abyss. Ill fate descend. I weep for the departed. Come on, get some of the flowers, please. It too shall fall. Okay, one. Oh, just one. Great. I think it's the one that I didn't break before, too. <laughs> In the mood for another. <laughs> Stand still. Free will, or was it fate? Hmm. Just for oblivion. <laughs> well, at least they're easy to, to kill when we is broken. Good time. Time to say bye. <laughs> Boom. Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> nice, like a good, my friend. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Oh, come on. He's about to be Venus broken. There we go. Get her. 
<laughs> I weep for the departed. Oh, there we go. There's the DOT effect. That, uh, the buff, I mean. Oh, yeah, that's a good amount. That's how you. <laughs> Another still waters of oblivion. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just every time she's attacked. Okay. That's gonna make doing these faces a lot easier. <laughs> okay, shoot. Uh, can I break these like uh, for Acheron? You want? Yeah, I, I should. Come on, kill one of them at the very least. It too shall fall. Uh, fuck! I only was able to break one of them. That's not good. Ow. Break. Nice. I weep for the departed. Uh, can I need to do this? It too shall fall. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Although I, <laughs> I'm close. I think I need to redo the first half in order to like do this one, uh, to restart this one. Maybe on the first half I should replace Aventurine with somebody else, because Aventurine like we don't really need protection per se. Aventurine does really little damage. Yeah, maybe I should switch Aventurine out for like a more offensive character. All right, there we go. Broken. Step up, stand still. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Oh yeah. Okay. The DOT team uh, team is still very good for this part. Ah, damn it. Boy, didn't lost. Okay. I could have gotten it better there if I did not fuck up the end of Kafka. Wow, look at that. <laughs> 50 points off. Okay. Okay, so for sure I need to restart the first half. Uh, part of me wants to change it to you, but at the same time, maybe I can just brute force it and just try and get an extra 50 uh, action value. At least that's what I'm hoping. Let me give it a try here. Alright, come on, please. Get this. Oh, come on. So close to getting Ratio's ultimate up. Uh, I'm asking questions. uh, okay. Okay. I can't let the action value drop any lower. 120 is like the, the, the limit here. <laughs> I can't let it drop any lower than that. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Yay, all right. A bit of RNG chaos uh, involved, but hey, at least I did it. All right. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Albeit, like, yeah, the only frustrating part about that was, uh, <laughs> Numphy and Ratio, just their RNG being against me. But, hey, I did it. Oh, bring me them sweet old 50 or 5 poles. And hopefully, maybe this should be enough. Eh? Uh, maybe? This is, a uh, 75 pity right now, I think. Okay, not it. 76? Come on, Feishao, come on. Nope, not it either. 77? Not it. 78. Come on, don't go to heart pity. <laughs> Thank you. Good lord. Took long enough. Took you long enough, Beishao, but... Ah, uh, she's here. Dodging my pulse for way too long. There she is. Okay. I am happy about that. Okay. That was definitely worth going through all the apocalyptic shadow trouble just for. Yes, she's here. Oh, yes. And another fine addition to my uh, follow-up team roster. Anyone just to punish Ratio for missing so many of those follow-ups? I'm just gonna nag Ratio's light cone right there. Oh, yeah, and she also needs, like, the Wind Valor set, which I did pre-farm beforehand before Je Jeppy decided to jump in my pulls. All right, let me level up Face out as well, just to get her up to a good, like, position. Oh, yeah, look at her. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. 
Oh, yeah, anyway, so built her up to level 75, and I uh, got most of her traits as well leveled up here. 81 crit rate, 160 crit damage, which I think is pretty good. A good 2,000 attack there. And, of course, I'm running the uh, Wind Valor set and also Inner Salsoto on her. You know what? Sure, just to complete my training arc, let's go back to Apocalyptic Shadow and use Face out there and see how, how much he destroys the enemies. Let's go! I venture forth to hunt forever. Triumphant! Boom! Boom! Holy shit, 500k! Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. Yep, and again. Okay, mostly it's actually pretty good paired with Face out actually. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, break him. And then Face shall go on. Let's go! Alright. Bam, bam. Uh, 500k again, and you know what? I can do the ultimate a second time. <laughs> yeah, this is totally meant for face out. There's like no way it is not. Boom. And dead. That's like, a, yeah, 300 more points than previously. That's nice. All right, did it again, and uh, Magic gets uh, 6,800. Was a bit slower with the Akron half there, but still pretty good score nonetheless. Oh man, so glad I got Feisha now. So, so glad. Ugh, my struggle was worth it. But alrighty, boys, that is gonna be the end of uh, the Apocalyptic Shadow run. It's not too bad, honestly. It's definitely, uh, you definitely need to change your views of how the boss works initially in order to, uh, understand how to combat against them. But after you figure it out, after you figure out, like, what to do against them, he's honestly not that bad. But Aventurine is not too bad, per se. And Fantilia, I feel like her boss fight just kind of works the same as uh, her regular fight, except that, you know, you need to break the flowers first. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, overall, it's not too bad. I mean, I guess I can only say that considering I have so many 5-star characters, but... For me, it wasn't too bad, per se. But alrighty, boys, that'll be the end of this Apocalyptic Shadow video. Feel free to ask in the comment section if you need any help regarding this Apocalyptic Shadow. And subscribe today if you want to see some more HSR, Genshin, or Zenless content from me. But yeah, that'll be the end of it, guys. See you next time.